Imagine a world where there are no more dropped calls and there is seamless network everywhere. All of us might have experienced this problem, but soon enough, all of this might become a thing of the past. A new era of communication is dawning. It's called direct to sell internet connectivity. According to a South China Morning Post report, China has successfully made a video call using direct to sell. In fact, in this report, we tell you more about this technology and just how safe it actually is. China has claimed that they have successfully conducted the world's first video call using direct to sell or D2C technology. This claim, however, is not true. Even if they did succeed, the Chinese were not the first. Vodafone engineers sitting in Wales were the first to make a D2C video call in January this year, and Japan followed suit in April. But this isn't about who got there first. If China has acquired the capability to transmit video over D2C, then that has far-reaching geopolitical ramifications. But first, what is D2C technology? Why is video calling using the tech a game changer? Direct to sell tech has been hailed as a breakthrough in mobile communication. D2C is a new technology which overcomes the limitations and weaknesses of terrestrial mobile networks by connecting regular smartphones via satellite. Think of it as a mobile network tower in space. D2C uses satellites instead of cell phone towers and allows regular smartphones to connect directly with satellites. D2C also does away with dependence on undersea cables. Today, D2C is being offered by a number of companies around the world, but the biggest by far is Starlink. The Elon Musk-owned enterprise launched its commercial D2C services in January this year. Theoretically, if China can create video streaming on D2C on a large scale, then it could bypass the impending U.S. ban on TikTok by beaming directly on users' smartphones, but much like the technology itself. The potential for misuse of D2C is not restricted by borders and geography. Non-state actors like terrorists could use D2C networks to communicate, especially in remote areas, without relying on local infrastructure. Complicating surveillance and law enforcement. D2C is significantly harder to monitor or block, let alone tap. Cybersecurity is a major concern. Satellites may be in space, but they can be hacked into and could be used for disinformation, espionage, or just disruption of service. Determining regulation and data integrity could be extremely complex with D2C. Before we start offering the satellite interface to the cell phones, I think government should come up with a guideline to keep logging everything. Who is using what? What are they doing it for? What duration? Who is the end consumer? If you are not creating those logs, we will have ample of cyber crimes happening only because of this new innovation. This millennium has been characterized by an exponential evolution in technology, which is often deployed before the full extent of its use and effect can be considered. D2C is unquestionably a game changer for global connectivity, but the world would do well to devise effective guardrails to curb its misuse by rogue actors. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.